Alrighty, so I did mine on estimated current external debt as of you please click the phone now, as of January eighth because you can't have the estimated dates of debt since I recorded the other day. And um, the term external debt means the total debt a country owes to foreign editors. Um, this just includes the uh, just how much they owe to others, how much they borrow. Um, it factors into a lot of the U.S. later in time when I explain that, and it factors also into the newer countries how they just do not have any external debt because they have no time to borrow anything. Um, here's my histogram. This is without my outliers. So as you can see, very right skewed. Um, there's the U.S. over here. Um, there's other countries that are outliers too. Um, if you could just go to the next one. And here's without outliers. It's a lot easier to see. Um, they're also very right skewed. And it shows. Sorry. All right, it's all good. And it shows how um, <coughs> it shows how a lot of the countries are in the uh, in the zero to twenty percentile. Um, here's my modified boxing whisker plot. So this is my boxing whisker plot with the outliers included. Um, it excludes Germany, France, United Kingdom, and the United States because Germany, France, the United Kingdom, and the United States would be up, way up, and the United States would be way through the roof if I had that on there included. And um, for my stem plot, there was it was not an appropriate way just because there were so many variables and so many numbers involved, and they were very, very spread out. So it would just not be appropriate even to have it up here because it, it would just be so long and it just would not be a great way to show it. Um, here is my box and whisker plot without outliers. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to read. Um, you can see, you know, my median is pretty low considering all the numbers I have in here. Um, it shows how it's right skewed yet again. And my top whisker is fairly high. And I have no bottom whisk here because my lowest value is zero. And um, my outliers, again, looking at my box plot, you can see there, there were 29 outliers. So that's, that is a fair amount. And they were all on the upper side. There were, no, there were none below. I believe my low threshold was something crazy, like one, one negative one million or something like that. And as you can see, my standard deviation, very, very high. Um, here's my, one of my focus countries. I did the United States, so obviously the country we live in in, the North, in North America. It was found in 1776. Um, many of our products are made in other countries. If you look, just my bracelet here, I know it says made in China. Um, and we have been involved in 18 wars in the country, so that also brings a lot of debt to, our, to us. And they spent $5.5 trillion on the nuclear weapons program in just, in just 50 years. And as I said before, a lot of money is borrowed to cover expenses. And um, here is Palu. Um, Republic of Palu is a group of islands in the West Pacific. Um, they're a fairly new country, only 21,000 people that live there. Uh, they're spread across 250 islands, and like I said before, found in 1994. And they're a new country, so there's no real big conflict issues with other countries, so they don't have to borrow money from, they don't have to borrow money from others. And um, there's my source.